Yo, what's happening guys? Welcome to a super special video because today I've gotten a gift from Elon Musk himself. This is the Starlink. You can see the, the photo of the dish here and, and the, the... This right here. And believe it or not, it only cost me $660. So let's go ahead and bust this thing open and let's see what it can do. I'm super excited to be getting into this. So yeah, let's just, let's just do it. Let's jump right into it. There you go. I just wanted to bring you in for a close up of the packaging so you can see what it looks like. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and bust this thing open. So it actually, I, I busted out a knife. I don't think I'm actually gonna need it. It looks like it's all perforated. And uh, unfortunately FedEx delivered it in the rain. And so a lot of this packaging is kind of wet, but it should be all right. This thing is weather resistant. It's meant to be a uh, satellite dish left outside. So I think I foresee no issues. Elon Musk wouldn't send me no, no issues. I think, uh, it looks like all around the outside, you've just got this sort of perforation that you kind of tear off right, right there. And that should, uh, allow you to pop open the top. I feel like, I feel like there should be like dramatic music for this or something. Like, dun, dun. Dun, dun, something, something like that. Maybe, maybe I'll add something in. <laughs> Good God. There it is. That is the unit itself. There's a kickstand. How the frig do I get this out of here? There we go. That's... That's it. That's that's the thing. That's the uh, the receiver, I suppose. Get that out of the way. We have a nice large instruction plate here. So you scan the setup Starlink. You set up the dish. Hook that up to the um, the router. You uh, set it up where you got some clear some clear space. What is the? Oh, you don't want it. You don't want it between trees. You want it on the outside of trees, I suppose. And uh, you use your phone. Uh, it does have, like, a, I have an app already on my phone installed, so, like, it's supposed to show you if there's obstructions or, like, the best positions, I guess, to set it up. There we go. There's the rest of it. So this should be, like, the uh, the router. Okay, so you got, like, an Ethernet that the satellite dish goes into that. You have power. Okay, so we do have to power this, of course. Just gonna just gotta try and figure out what all this is. We got a power cable. This here is the router. We've got the uh, the cable here. I think that's the satellite to the uh, the router here. Now this, okay, that's power to the satellite. They all have like like little pictures on them. So, okay, I see. So this power cable is gonna plug into this box. This box is gonna go to the uh to the router the router is gonna go to the uh to the dish and there you have your uh this should be a pretty long cable i think this is the uh dish to the router so i guess the best way to go about this is just to go ahead and get it set up right pretty simple and then there's the dish again so we're gonna pop outside here and we're gonna set this thing up all right yeah i've moved to the outdoor location we got everything set up here power down here so we're gonna try and set this thing up and see how it works i also have on my phone the app so it does have a start setup so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna check that out select your starlink we have the standard confirm find a clear view of the sky okay we'll go ahead and do that so i'd say uh, right about there is probably a pretty clear view of the sky it's right there we're gonna go right there. We do have a bit of cloud cover though, so we'll uh, we'll see how this works out. But here's the unit. We're just gonna go ahead and set it up right here. Hopefully that'll work. Uh, all right. So next here it says check for obstructions. So we need to find a clear view of the sky. I think this looks pretty good. Shouldn't be obstructed by anything. So we check for obstructions. Allow Starlink to take and record videos. Sure. We'll allow that. 
while using this app. Use your device's camera to explore your Starlink's entire field of view. Holy schmoly. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. We're gonna do the camera up. Oh, whoa. That is bonkers. Scan the entire sky. Yo. That's freaking insane. View results. It's checking for obstructions, all right? So just chill. You just chill. Calm down. Calm the frig down. Zero percent. Oh wait, no, it's, it's the percentage is going up. <laughs> Streaming video, good experience. Web browsing, good experience. Video calls, some interruptions. Online gaming, frequent interruptions. Okay, so we may not have the best position here for some of the stuff, but we're gonna try it out. You know, this is just a trial run. We're gonna have to do long-term testing to figure out how well it's gonna work, but we're gonna set up here. Um, continue with kickstand. Position Starlink, well align it in a moment. Place your Starlink outside with a clear view of the sky. Starlink is set up. Oh, I think I need to uh, actually power stuff up now. I probably should have already had that done. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. Anyway, they've got an outlet down here, so I'm gonna go ahead and plug this in. We're gonna put that into the box here. All right, that's done. Then this is gonna go into our router here. Yep, we got a power back there. That's gonna go right into there. Plug that on in. These are some odd plugs, man. I ain't never seen no shaz like this. I guess it's probably meant for outdoor stuff. It's, it's got like these uh, rubber kind of protectors on there. So I guess to keep moisture and stuff from getting in there. So now this is like our ethernet cable. We're gonna take this, go from the dish to the router. All right, so the spot on the dish is like under there, underneath the uh, where the, the leg is, where the kickstand is. Looks like that's where you're gonna plug it in. Let's see if I can manage this. I think I think I got it. I felt a bit of a click there. So I think that ought to be it. So we're gonna set that back in position, plug this end on in to the router. All right, let's go ahead and uh, pop this end on into the back here of the router. Get it going the right way. Okay, so that, I believe, I believe, I believe that should be, that should be it. Now, now we're gonna go ahead and check out what the phone says. Uh, position Starlink will align it in a moment. Place your Starlink outside of the clear view of the sky. Once Starlink gets online, we'll guide you to adjust it to point north if needed. Starlink is set up. Plug in Starlink and router. That's all done. My Starlink is powered. Connect to Starlink Wi-Fi. Connect your Starlink Wi-Fi network in your device's settings and come back. It may take 30 seconds to appear. Open settings. I'm having a little bit of issues. I don't know if it's because I'm not powered or what, but it's not showing up here yet. We got establishing connection to your Starlink network. Okay, we open settings. Oh, hey, we got it. We got Starlink. Click on that. We're gonna connect uh, to that. Connected, no internet access. All right, so what does this mean? We go back. Okay, we're connected. Your phone is connected to Starlink. Next, let's get your Starlink connected to the internet and optimize your setup. Continue. Booting, Starlink is powering on. Okay, so we got power going from that unit to that unit. Starlink is powered on. Uh, router not configured. Tap to finish setting up your Starlink router. Okay, we've got a name. Password, you can't see that. You don't, you can't, you can't get my password. Password set. Gonna take about a minute here for the uh, new network settings. Cause I had to add a name, password, getting that stuff kind of set up. So I think I could have done this. Well, the, the whole plan is I want to do this from inside of the van and I have an idea about how I want to do that. I have a lot of cable to connect the dish to the router. So I can have the router inside the van and I can have the cable going outside of the van. Um, I could have done it there. I just, I don't know. I just felt like having an open space out here would make things a little bit easier to get it all set and going you know what i mean all right we're connecting to starlink are we gonna have internet connected no internet access uh it says powering on again determining alignment connect to device starlink app wants to use a temporary wi-fi network to connect to your device connect 
This is all this is all the setup stuff. You gotta you gotta go through it. You gotta you gotta get past this point. Starlink found a satellite and is attempting to join the Starlink network. So it's not looking good at the moment. Getting online is taking longer than usual. Make sure Starlink has a complete clear view of the sky. I may not be in a very good area for this right at the moment. We may have to uh, we may have to give it another try later. So I may be checking back with you guys, maybe from a different location. Uh, we will see. Alrighty, so I'm out here having another attempt at setting up the Starlink. But anyways, let me show you. I was going to set it up here. Yeah, I was going to set it up top here on my upper deck here. But I got where I'm parked here, there's a couple trees interfering. So I didn't end up doing that. Well, I tried it, but it still wasn't working. I think it might have worked. I don't know. I need, I need a better spot to try and set it up, I feel like. But anyways, what I ended up doing just to test this out, I just set it out here. It's probably the most... This is probably the most clear view we're gonna get, but we still have uh, some trees and stuff. But I just ran the cable in through the window here. We'll go ahead and head inside. I ran it in like this, and then I just put that screen back up because it's a magnetic screen, so I think that's probably how I'll do it in the long run. If I can put it up on the back deck, run the wire across the van and in like this, but this stuff's all set up. It's kind of a wire mess. So I ended up, I did reboot the router because it was still, it was having that same problem as yesterday when I was trying to set it up. Uh, but now you can see here, it is online. It had to do an update. Once it finally got connected, there was an update that it did. But it's saying that there's downgraded service in the area. They're investigating it currently. Um, but I am connected. Yeah, my laptop is connected. I think my phone... No, my phone is not connected. It needed to connect to um, the Wi-Fi. I think it did that to do like the update or something. Now my phone's connected, and it shows me on here how many devices are connected to it. Oh, this is interesting. I'll have to try it in some, like, other areas and see how it ends up working out. But, um, statistics. Okay, let's go into here. Latency, we're at 99 ms. Okay. I don't know what that means, to be honest. <laughs> Milliseconds, is that what it is? It's, uh, it's changing, though. Max is 99. Oh, max is 99. Last is 41. Okay, so it's going up and down. I think the best thing I can do here is with my laptop connected try and go live do a test or go on it seems like you're getting spikes and drops in the latency the throughput we could do a speed test let's try that out we're looking at 190 almost 200 megabits per second that's what it's showing uh upload we're, we're doing that now is that like 32 yeah i don't like i said i don't really know how all that stuff works out what it really means i just go live and see if it works <laughs> So I'm going to try that actually. I'm going to go live on the laptop to do a bit of a test or go. But we're at 210 megabits per second, 32 megabits per second on the upload, 49. I'm, I don't know what the MS is. I'm thinking that's maybe milliseconds latency. But yeah, let's go ahead and try this out on YouTube or Twitch, whichever one. I'm just doing a test or go anyway. I'm not going to have it visible. <laughs> I should be live. Oh, we don't have chat because it's... um private okay let me pull this up on my phone here all right so i am live here on the youtubes i may take this video may talking on the face cam here and just put that in the video we'll see if i go to my own channel can i see my own live stream test yeah okay we can see it i may take this video may talking on the face cam here and just put that in the video we'll see all right that's cool so like i'm live i'm live off starlink right now off the off the wifi i'm watching my own stream it's a private stream just for a tester go here, but uh, it's working. This is kind of cool. Uh, yeah, I should try it tonight maybe if I can run this setup and get it going. I may uh, I may try and stream some gamage tonight. All right, so I'm back out here with the van just, you know, because the setup's all going and, you know, we got the cable going. Hey there, feller. What is that? What? You some kind of alien from outer space there, feller? An alien? It's just, it's just the Starlink from, you know, Elon Musk. It's his, his satellite internet. Who's this Elon Musk? Is he up there on the mothership? He ready to beam me up? The, the mothership? Man, I don't know what the heck you're talking about, dude. It's just, it's just satellite internet. All right, whatever you say, fella. Just don't be taking my brain. All right, well, anyways, I think I'm going to just go ahead and close out the video here live from uh, YouTube. It's a private live stream, so nobody else is seeing this. But you'll see it in the video. I'll download it and add it in there. So anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, hit that like button down below, subscribe to the channel, turn on the notifications so that way you're not going to miss out on any future videos or even live streams here from the main channel. 
You can also join Discord if you want to come by and uh, chat. And if you want to help support the channel, check out the merch. Link should be in the description. It's on the channel page and all that good stuff. There's some cool things, especially for summer, some sleeveless shirts. I'm uh, going to be getting me some of those pretty soon here. But uh, anyways, guys, thanks again for watching. Hopefully we'll see you in the next one. Peace.